What's up, guys? This is Matt Watson Comedy on this chilly December morning. I was on my way to my gig on Monday night, and I had my GPS guiding the way for me. Um, and uh, when I arrived uh, safely, I forgot to turn my GPS off. I went and used the washroom, went into the stall, and when I sat down, the GPS said out loud, you have arrived. So it turns out that uh, GPS, in fact, stands for Great P and Sh. What's comedy? What? You got some comedy? Huh? You want a comedy? It's Matt Watson Comedy! I had a great week this past week in Absolute Comedy. I've got one last show there this coming Monday, December 9th, if anybody wants to come out and check that out. You're welcome to. Um, I did some uh, Christmas shopping with my little sister, Sarah, last week. And we were in Walmart taking advantage of uh, all the deals that we could find. And there was this guy that was in a uh, scooter and he came rolling past us and he stopped and made eye contact with Sarah, who's, uh, who's uh, uh, you know, a young lady. And he says to her, he says, uh, he says, I'm going to die. And I just kind of, I was perplexed by that. You know, I kind of wanted to lighten the mood because Sarah and I are just trying to buy you know, presence here, and this guy's bringing mortality into the whole thing. So I kind of lightened it. I was like, ah, Sarah, don't worry about it. We're all going to die. Um, and we kind of half chuckled that off. And then uh, about 15 minutes later, we came across this guy again. Um, he was completely fine, but uh, his scooter was dead between the aisles. Um, so it turns out he was talking about that, and I made it super dark for no reason. Speaking of uh, uh, heavy matters, anybody who's a pet owner, the, the, they'll give like their pet a voice, you know, typically dog owners, you know, they, they, they create this character with their dog. My girlfriend does it with her dog, Laker, and I've started doing it with, with Laker too. Um, and uh, we have just kind of realized that uh, nobody finds that odd, but really that's encouraging someone to develop multiple personality disorder. Imagine if you sub that dog out with any other object, you know, if I was just like, you know, talking to a can of Pops Blue Ribbon. You know, you guys, I think I think the people would look twice. They'd be like, you know what, that isn't maybe the healthiest thing for this guy to be doing. I don't like that he's taking it for a walk. We had a bit of a scary experience with Laker uh, last week. He uh, he swallowed a, a brownie um, that also contained uh, marijuana. Uh, so he was immediately rushed to a, a vet um, there's actually a 24 hour vet in, uh, Ottawa was something, which is something I didn't even know about. So that's pretty, that was pretty handy. Rushed off to the vet. Um, and he's doing fine. Sorry. I should have led with that. Uh, you got, you guys might've been on the end of your seats. Like what happened to this poor, this poor dog? The dog is fine. Laker's good. Um, I was, uh, privileged enough to go and pick him up along with Lindsay. And, uh, when we went to the front counter to be like, Hey, you know, we're, we're here to get old Laker. Um, the lady at the front did like an announcement, like she was working at like a Harvey's, um, and w uh, but instead of being like, "Hey, we need two uh, two burgers with only ketchup," she said, um, "Lakers parents are here," and just like that, I was I'm a father, you know, um, and it's just like they say, you know, you're never ready, you're never ready to be a dad, uh, but uh, just like that, you know, I'm I'm a dad now. So I've got all that responsibility bearing on my shoulders, and I was excited to be reignited uh, with my son, who is uh, uh, coming out coming out of the the back area, and he comes out and he's uh, he's pulling on his leash because he's you know he's been at the vet for the last 24 hours, um, and uh, he uh, immediately starts pulling towards the exit of the door, um, completely ignoring Lindsay and I who are there to pick him up. So, uh, I mean, I've only been a parent for, at that point, for 12 minutes, and I already get what you guys are talking about. You know, your kids, they just don't give you enough credit. You know, they're just ignoring you, pretending like you don't even exist. But hey, whether you're a parent or just a kid, same rules apply. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really liked it, why not subscribe to the channel and you'll get a notification when I upload the next one, uh, probably one week from now on Wednesday. That's it, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you next week. Come, guys.